hip joint is a synovial balance socket type of the joint. Therefore, it is a multi-axial joint and can move in different direction. Let's go with the osteology of the joint. The joint is made between the femur and the hip bone. But if you want to be more precise, we need to go with more detail of the articular surfaces. On the femur side, we have a spherical area right here, which is called the head of the femur. And that smooth surface is covered by hyaline cartilage that forms the joint. But on the head, there is also this part, which is called fovea, is an impression. That fovea doesn't articulate with the hip bone. And this gives attachment to the round ligament of the head of the femur. Later, you will hear about the, the joint capsule attachment on the femur. So let's review the, the osteology of those parts as well. This is greater trochanter. That is lesser trochanter. On the anterior side, these two attach to each other by the intertrochanteric line. Later, you see the joint capsule attaches to the intertrochanteric line on this side. Then, therefore, the neck of the femur, which is here, is inside the joint cavity. On the posterior side, however, the joint capsule attaches to the neck up to here. So, this is the articular surfaces on the femur side. Let's go with the articular surfaces on the hip side. That impression is referred to as acetabulum. And on the acetabulum, we have this surface, which is called lunate surface. And that lunate surface is smooth and is covered by hyaline cartilage. Then the joint is made between the head of the femur and lunate surface of the acetabulum, like this. Okay. On the bottom part of acetabulum right here is called, this part is called acetabular notch, which is bridged by a ligament. I'm going to put my probe here to represent that ligament. That ligament is called transverse acetabular ligament. And then when I put the ligament here, right under the ligament, there is going to be a hole right there, which gives passageway to the art artery that goes into the head of the femur. The bottom part of the acetabulum right here is called acetabular fossa, and as you can see, is not a smooth, is not covered by cartilage. There is a part of fat there, and also this area acts as a reservoir for the synovial fluid. This margin of the acetabulum actually gives attachment to the the acetabular labrum that you will see later on the specimen. Hip joint, same as other synovial joints, is surrounded by joint capsule. Okay? Now, when it comes to the joint capsule, it, the joint capsule has some thickening that form the ligaments that support the joint. However, unfortunately, in reality, we cannot actually separate these joints. Um, and, and that's why we just point to the area that um, is referred to as that particular ligament. OK, now, the, the ligaments that support the joint, which are practically thickening of the joint capsule, are ileofemoral, pubofemoral, and ischiofemoral. Now, in order to remember the name, remember, the hip bone is made by three parts. That is the ileum, that is the pubis this area, and that is the ischio, right? Here is the ischio, and, and the whole thing actually is the ischio. Now, if I point to this part of the joint capsule here, that refer, is referred to as ileofemoral ligament, which happens to be a Y-shaped ligament and is one of the strongest ligaments in human body. Then this part of the joint capsule is referred to as pubofemoral ligament. And then if I go to the posterior side, right here, this part of the joint capsule is referred to as ischiofemoral ligament. Now, when we are looking at the posterior side, as you can see, the joint capsule um, covers the neck above the intertrochanteric crest. Then this part of the neck is exposed, which has clinical application. 
when it comes to the blood supply of the head. But then on the other side, the joint capsule comes all the way down and attaches to the intertrochanteric um, line. And also on the hip side, um, attaches around the acetabulum. Okay, so these are the ligaments that support the joint, but they are part of the joint capsule. Okay, now on this side, however, the joint capsule is being uh, cut and the, the joint is open. Now we want to look at one of the ligaments inside the joint, right here, right there. That is, if we can actually zoom in here, maybe we can see better view of that. That is round ligament of head of the femur that attaches to the fovea on one side and the other side attaches to the, the rim of the um, acetabulum and also the, um, the transverse acetabular ligament. So then practically this is transverse acetabular ligament. Okay, the other structure that we want to um, see inside the hip joint <coughs> is a fibrocartilage ring right here which is called acetabulum labarum acetabular labarum and that fibrocartilage ring makes the acetabulum a little bit deeper so then increases the stability of the of the hip joint okay now the head of the femur is completely covered by um, hyaline cartilage except where we have the fovea but as you can see interestingly enough here Medically, actually, medically interesting um, kind of the appli clinical application that the head is not covered by cartilage, and that is the sign of osteoarthritis in this joint. On the acetabular side, however, we also have the uh, lunate surface that is covered by hyaline cartilage. Now, good to know that this round ligament carries a blood vessel for part of the head of the femur as I mentioned in previous shot. Okay, let's go through the movements of the hip joint as a ball and socket joint. Um, you can imagine the hip joint can do all types of movements. So I'm gonna hold like, like this that you can see from lateral view, that is the flexion of the hip joint. And that is the extension, as you can see, extension is more limited than flexion. Then we have lateral and medial rotation. This is lateral rotation and going like this, medial rotation. Just let you know, medial rotation range of motion is less than lateral. But because the joint capsule is being open here, then you think that medial rotation is more, but in reality is not. And also we have the abduction, the move, uh, movement of the femur away from the midline and adduction, okay? Now, of course, the combination of all these which is referred to as circumduction.